is okay. It's not extremely difficult, but it is not extremely easy either. It's for the most part a pretty straightforward map. There really isn't that many side areas at all in this map. Um, of course, this map those, does continue to introduce and give slowly been seeing a little bit more of mazes. There are a couple of mazes in this map, and some of them do have vines in them as well. They can be a little bit confusing at first, but as long as you really stick to this one side of the wall, they really aren't. They're not like um, episode 6, 4, 7 of Wolf 3D, you know, those mazes. Oh my goodness, don't get me started on those. Uh, the hardest part about this map, though, can be the silver key area also. You can add in that as well. Uh, the room with, like, you know, it's like, you know, this couple square rooms, but then there's all those barrels there you gotta work your way around for. Yeah, I mean, that area... Well, I actually that area is probably maybe a little bit disappointing. I expected, you know, a little bit more gruesome of an area. I mean, it's not really as deadly. There's not as many enemies. Actually, a good chunk of them are, 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 are dogs. So that's more of an advantage for you. But most of them will not be alerted to your presence unless you walk right in front of them or, or they see you. Or if you try to shoot them from behind or not. Can be a little confusing, but it really isn't too difficult to navigate, really. Not really that much. I did expect a little bit more from that, as I, as I said before, but again, what can you do? Not too difficult of a map, though. It's floor 6. Let's move on now to floor 7 in the next video. And until then, guys, I am the Club of the Man, 1993.